What's up, YouTube? I'm Aspie. You're watching The Worth Shop, where I teach you guys to use your hands, build, fix, create, and through accomplishing things, you build up your self-esteem and your self-worth. So if you follow the channel, you know I've been setting up this WVODesigns.com centrifuge. I'm going to use that centrifuge to clean waste oil and make my own diesel to put in my trucks. So I'm pretty excited. I finally got my system set up. It's been taking me all kinds of headaches and trying to figure out fittings and adapters and valves and this and that's and the other things. In the process of setting up my system, I've learned about five hidden costs to set up a centrifuge to clean waste motor oil. And I want to share what I've learned with you guys to help you out if you decide to set up your own system. So, to start this adventure off, we spent $1,600 on the centrifuge. But, WVODesigns.com upgraded me to the extreme raw power centrifuge. Because, it was on back order for so long that I waited. So, that's actually valued at about $1,950 after shipping. First and foremost, you're going to need a location to set it up. Now, I think the shipping container would be the perfect place, but you use what you've got, and I have this little shed next to one of my houses, and so I'm going to use that shed. Dang jet airplane trying to interrupt my audio. <coughs> Shed's definitely far from perfect. She's got some ventilation built in in all the walls. Well, like I said, you use what you've got, guys. My little shed doesn't even got electricity to run my setup. So once you got that location picked out, for your sake, I'm hoping that it's already got enough power to run your centrifuge. If not, that gets us right into our first hidden cost for me. Went and picked up a small electrical panel, some breakers and whatnot from Home Depot. I had to run this RV extension cord all the way to my little shed. And then I went back, spent close to $300 on electrical stuff. So now that I've got it unloaded from the car, I've got all the boxes for my electrical. I've got outlets and switches. Got the breakers, all the cover plates, some wire, some staples to hold the wire outdoor security light light for in here but i'm going to take off the glass and i'm going to put this little deal on it so that i got nice lighting inside of my shed once i had power to the shed i ran it up to an outlet so i can run extension cords outside i got a light switch here and a light up top i also ran some more breakers Ran my power wires and I put in switches for outlets so that I can turn my water heater on and off and another switch to an outlet so that I can easily turn my centrifuge on and off. I also installed some outlets for my pumps. I'm going to go ahead and estimate that on the electrification of this shed, even though I added a few bonuses, I'd say I'm at about $450 total. So once you've got your location, you've got electricity to that location, you're going to need something for your centrifuge setup to sit on. <sighs> Off I went to Home Depot. I spent about $320 with taxes on one of these husky shelves. It's able to support about 2,000 pounds per shelf. I figure that's plenty for a full 55 gallon drum. Yeah, I could use 2x4s and build something, blah dee da dee da dee Might have been a little cheaper. I could have even searched online and maybe found something used. But that would have taken time, energy... And I really didn't have those. I wanted to get my centrifuge up and running. Now let's get into one of the next hidden costs for setting up one of these here centrifuges. And that's the plumbing. If you look at my plumbing layout, you notice I've got a lot of valves. 
a lot of fittings, a lot of adapters. In order to put it all together, you're going to need lots of crimp rings for your pecs. Even if you're doing just hoses to barb fittings, you're going to need your clamps. You're going to need some adapters, some piping. You're going to need quite a bit of fittings and valves and just different things to make it all work. Some guys do a real simple setup where they've got to drop the hose into a whatever container they bring home. It goes straight into the centrifuge and into their holding tank or whatever. I wanted a more automated setup system with lots of valves so that I can pump from one place to another very easily and I can select where I'm pumping to and from very easily instead of setting up each time it's all set up already and ready to go so that it's easy to use into the future and that gets us into our next hidden cost of setting up a centrifuge you're gonna need some pumps guys I decided to buy two this one is for the dirty side and this one is for the clean side but as you see i've got lots of valves coming off of that pump so that i can select it to suck from and distribute to different places so it's a multi-purpose pump so how much do i got into pumps fittings this is and that well the two pumps cost me about 160 dollars each so we'll just Round it off, say about $300 in pumps. I could have gotten cheaper ones if I got 12 volt. But hey, I ran power to my shed because I wanted power to my shed. So I got the 110 volt ones and they cost me a little more. As far as the fittings, valves, crimp rings, piping, tubing, all that sort of thing. I estimate I've got about $500 into my system already. Now I'm going to mention one last hidden cost. To setting up a centrifuge and that's places to put the oil we've got drums we've got tanks this one was given to me for free at work this one back here I paid 40 bucks this guy and that guy I also got free from work but there's a catch just because you get the drum for free you end up spending about 20 bucks on a new bung adapter this bung adapter cost me about 15 bucks. Once I bought the elbow and the valve and the T, the adapter, the pipe, and a couple fittings, this tank cost me about 75 bucks. This tank that I spent 40 bucks on, it's the same story. Once we got the T and the elbow in the pipe which comes in through the wall to a pex adapter i estimate that i've probably got about 80 to 90 bucks so far into this tank but i still haven't even put the valve on the outlet for my gravity feed hose that's gonna fill my trucks i've got the parts already though on my intake side i decided to do a 20 micron water filter why? Because I had it laying around from a previous project and I never used it. Give that dirty oil a little pre-scrubbing. Pre-clean the oil before I run it into the centrifuge. Give the centrifuge a little easier time of running the oil. Cha-ching! There's another 40 bucks. Another thing that I decided to do was go and buy this used water heater. I spent 80 bucks on this. It's a 110 volt water heater. It holds about 20 gallons. I picked it up on Facebook Marketplace. He had it listed for 150. I talked him down to 80. We're hoping it works. I didn't want to be struggling in the winter when it gets super cold. So I figured a hot water heater would help the viscosity of my oil thin it out before it goes into my centrifuge. So I can run in the winter as well as the summer and help myself save even more money on fuel. Alrighty guys. So I hope this introduction to my waste oil cleaning system, my centrifuge setup, was something that you guys enjoyed. I'm hoping that it shares some information, gives you guys an idea of some of the additional costs on top of that $1,600 you're going to spend on the centrifuge to get it all set up and running. If you learned something from the video, if you enjoyed it, 
hit that thumbs up. It helps it get distributed to more people that could appreciate the information. Might help them with their project. Anyways, till next time, believe in what God gave you. Take on some projects, build, fix, create. It'll build up your self-esteem and your self-worth. Hit that subscribe button. You want to watch my goofy ass trying to figure this out and sharing the information that I learned along the way. Go ahead and check out my channel. Might be some other interesting diesel videos, my 7.3 IDI, 6.9 IDI videos that you might be interested in. I've also got the unboxing video from the centrifuge and the setup and wiring video from the centrifuge. I'll put those links in the description. Till next time, keep building shit.